What's up? How y'all doing? Welcome back to Conversations with Carrie. Y'all, I've been busy. I mean, I just been really, really busy. <laughs> Yes, y'all, your girl is engaged. So, as you can probably tell by the title of this video, we're gonna talk about that a little bit. Um, I'm officially no longer single as a Pringle. Um, not officially married yet, but your girl is engaged. So, I know y'all cheering for me in the background, yes, because ultimately, I wanna share a little bit about our story, and I'll introduce you to my fiance, who will be sitting here shortly. Um, but I, I shared the story to really encourage you um, the Lord has really used my single season for a lot of things, sharpening me, getting me closer to him. But also I do believe that it's meant to be a time to encourage others who are maybe also have the desire for marriage or are <laughs> trying to see like, Lord, what are you doing? Because let me tell you, he will do things completely differently than you thought. So we'll talk more about that. But um, let, let's get my boo in here, shall we? Okay. Come on, give, give, give me Louise. Give me Louise. Give me Louise, baby. Hello everyone, <laughs> how's everyone doing? Uh, as you know, my name is Luis and we're gonna have a little chat today. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna get it started. Yeah, y'all gonna get to know him a little bit. So Luis, okay, I want you to share, what was your first impression when meeting me? And I'll share mine of meeting you. My first impression was she's a strong woman, uh, very smart, mm -hmm. um, very direct. <laughs> and, Who, me? And I thought she was very beautiful, and um, you know, I just wanted to approach her as a, as a Christian, you know, and, and be very uh, polite and, and just really get to know her. So, for some of you, you may know that we met on the tennis court, and <laughs> now he knows this, so when I say this, he just said I was very direct. But um, my first impression was, I was like, oh, he's cool, very sweet, nice, a little dusty. Like, and I kind of left it at that. Because, <laughs> but like all in a good way. Um, he would always have on like fitness clothes. And then at church, he would look like he kind of like, Ooh, just got here, you know, rolled out of bed. He always had on fly sneakers though. So I was like, okay, you know, I didn't know anything about him. Um, and then he was very shy and quiet around me. I wouldn't even necessarily say shy. You just didn't talk to me. Why didn't you talk to me? <laughs> um, um, I just didn't know you at the time. I know there's a lot of people I talked to at church and just it was just a matter of getting to know you and uh, allowing myself to open up to you. Okay. Well, um, we played tennis for a while and I, y'all, I was very much myself because I mean, he was teaching me I was horrible and I'm a little better now, um, but like he would just, you know, he was very talkative with my friend Rihanna, but with me, he was just like clam up. And I was just like, mm, girl, like he don't talk. And she wasn't, also let me be clear, she wasn't setting us up, trying to like set us up. It was just literally, we were playing tennis and like just getting out of the house during COVID. That's really all it was. I would love to hear about your point of view about when things shifted, when the scales fell from your eyes and you mm -hmm. felt, no, mm -hmm. you didn't fall in love yet, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, before anything shifted, um, I would go to uh, one of my ministers to just talk about life and talk about um, my prayers and things that I wanted in life and uh, things that I was praying for. So one of them was, you know, being in a relationship and, and eventually getting married and having, uh, you know, someone that I can share a life with and also help me raise my two boys. And, and it, I can't really pinpoint it, but there was a, a one point where he was like, hey, won't you ask Carrie out? So wait, 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 we got to pause for a second. Cause you said there wasn't a distinct time? Well. It was a distinct time because it happened at a certain moment. Okay. But it wasn't, it, it just came out of the blue. It wasn't like yes. I, I started to notice you. Like, I noticed you because you're cute. And like you say, you had a uh, very um, um, big personality. And mm -hmm. I, I was attracted to it. But at the time, I was just really focusing on just uh, my Christian walk and trying to listen to God and allowing Him to, to guide me and to for him to find my mate. So that's why I didn't really just go up to you and was just trying to... Trying to raise me up. Is that what the kids say? Like the kids say. <laughs> or like we used to say, Mac you up, right? Mac you up, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, he used to be Mac Louie, but yeah. we are, he ain't Mac Louie. <laughs> for me, it was a conversation that we had 
on the tennis court. He made a comment. Um, we were talking about like dating and Christian circles and stuff. And you know, we were kind of, me and Rihanna was all up in this business asking you all the questions about, you know, who you were dating or if you had liked anybody. Um, and you had said something about like, uh, oh, I recognize that like, you know, my future wife is probably gonna be around my age, so I'm open to adopt. And I had always said I was open to adoption just because I was like, I don't know when Lord gonna do what he do. So, um, and then when you said that, I remember thinking, huh. And it's like all of a sudden you started looking di different. Now, let me also say, homeboy hadn't shaved. So I still saw like, it was like, it wasn't, it wasn't looking as good as this. <laughs> but like, he had a full like facial hair and everything. And there was like a little ruggedness going on. I was thinking, huh, who's that? Like, you know, I kind of just had a different view of him. Um, and then he started telling me more about his background and I was like, oh, okay, you, you know, <laughs> you ain't new to this. Like that East Palo Alto goes real. So um, I was like, oh, and we got to like talking about who you've dated and that you like, you've dated black women before. Cause I was, my thing was, I was like, I'm always open to dating somebody else on my race, but I don't want to have to explain what it means. Like when I put on my bonnet or my head rack. And you love my bonnet, don't you? Right, yep, I love her bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> well, after we had like started and like dating for a little bit, when were you like, oh, okay, she's what's up? She's the truth. Cause I'm, I'm saying I'm the truth, you know. <laughs> when were you like, okay, yeah, this is what's up? Um, I think it was after even just that, even just getting to know you, I really, once I started talking to you and you started opening it up, I really liked your personality. I really started seeing a little bit more of the gentle side of you, not so much of the pronounced personality, but so that... <laughs> the softer side. The softer side of you. So that really um, attracted me because, you know, uh, I like a strong woman, but I also like an affectionate woman because mm. I'm very affectionate. <laughs> he is. He is, yeah. He's, so, uh, he's touchy feeling. So yeah, so uh, after um, our first date and you know we went to the movies and we were able to really connect and just see see that softer side and look into your eyes and see the, the, the gentleness of your of your looks and how you looked at me, I really <laughs> thought you're you know beautiful and I was really just Okay. Continue to continue. Just like continue let's see what this is about. Okay. Continue to see where this will go. Okay. Okay. Well, let me also add. Oh well, what he's not telling you also is that he thought I was churchy. <laughs> now some of y'all like, yeah, Carrie, because you are churchy. But like, I took that as like he thought I was a bit of a prude, right? Yeah, I thought maybe you weren't so um, fun. Like she's actually really <laughs> fun. And, and, and... Now what made you think I wasn't fun? I was like laughing and stuff on the tennis courts. <laughs> Well, I, you know, I just saw you as a leader at church, and, and um, I didn't really get to see that till like, I, I know I would see it a little bit on the courts, but then I also would see that, that tough exterior too, so. So let's, let's talk about this tough exterior that you claim I have. Like, what's this <laughs> tough exterior? She's trying to say she don't, but as a corporate woman and having mm -hmm. to play a strong role and leading people, she does have, you know, a toughness to her. Now. You know, a lot of times men are intimidated by somebody they would describe as strong. And I won't say that I'm strong all the time, which we've talked about. Like, you've seen definitely the softer side. Um, you've seen me hangry, which I was hangry right before this. Yeah, she was um, <laughs> um, um, But, like, what, how did you, either were you intimidated? How did you get over that? I was a little intimidated, but... Just it wasn't, it was just the situation. I was just getting to know you and uh, what what took that feeling away was the Lord. Because he was like, this is the one, mm -hmm. go, go for it. And when I, when I you know, received that, I, I ran with it. I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to be strong and show her that, you know, I'm a strong man too. And that I can be the one that can lead her. And so, okay. you know, I, I made the decision and went ahead and, and, and talked to her in that in that way and asked her out. Well, let's talk about the tennis a little bit since that's exactly how we met. So, how okay. did you get into tennis? I actually got into tennis through a youth program uh, called the East Palo Tennis and Tutoring Program. So, yeah, I love tennis and, it, and it's uh, I just want to continue to allow it to be a part of my life. And 
And if anyone needs tennis lessons, let me know. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah. Listen, I'm the, I'm the business manager, so come through me. So you also have uh, two teenage boys. So um, somebody put it to me the other day. They was like, here, you got a ready-made family. Um, so why don't you tell them a little bit about Jacob and Jaden? Okay, so Jacob and Jaden, uh, they're my two boys. They're grown. <laughs> well, they're still teenagers, but... Um, they think they're grown. <laughs> one's 16, the other one's 17. And one is just like him. <laughs> they're actually both good mixes. They both have very many similar um, uh, traits to uh, to me. Uh, one's more quiet, the other's more outgoing, but they both have the same they're kind like of mannerisms. Everything. Like they're like patterns. they're little twins. <laughs> right? You want to come in and say hi? Sure, why not? Yeah, y'all come meet Jacob. Jacob, you're going to have to bend down a little bit so they can see you. So everybody, this is Jacob. This is the oldest. He'll be 18 in December. Um, and yeah, he's here with his little his little friend, y'all. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to say hi. Introduce myself, I guess. My name is Jacob. Yes, Jacob, and he likes to play tennis and football, and he likes to kick it a lot, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He likes and to kick it. For a job. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Somebody say Amen. amen. <laughs> Well, thanks for popping in, Jacob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to say anything else? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now that they know a little bit about you, um, my, my tennis pro, um, what are you most looking forward to in our future together as a married couple? Well, um, the most, what I'm looking forward to most is having a great partner that I can, you know, go through my Christian walk with, get closer to God with, um, and just have a great family together where we can, um, you know, continue to raise the boys and even have a family of our own, right? Okay. Are you about to cry? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. No. Stop the video. Okay. I will share what I'm... I can't say what I'm most attracted to, um, just because there's a combination of things. Um, but you know how they say opposites attract, and I think there's a, a level of opposite in our personalities. Like he is actually very social. I, I'm more outgoing, I guess, on the surface, but like he will like hang around with people and talk. And I'm more like, I'm at my limit, I'm going home, I'll holler at y'all later. Um, so I feel like we balance each other there. Um, even though he may come across as introverted, he's actually like very talkative and we'll just be, you know, just keep going and going. And I'm more like, yep, I'm done talking. Um, he also just doesn't wear, like, I was gonna say wear your emotions on your sleeve, but like, you're just, he's very kind, even keel, he doesn't get hyped. Like me, if I ain't had my food, I'm ready to bite. Like it's, or if, <laughs> you know, sometimes stuff just don't be on my timing. I get a little annoyed, um, but, yeah, I feel like you're just so like chill. I appreciate that because everybody can't beat me. Like, listen, I didn't. I don't want to marry me. Um, and if everybody get hyped when they even had something to eat, we would have a problem. So, yeah, we want to give y'all a little, a little glimpse of my boo thing over here. Um, I love him very much, and I wanted y'all to see the wonderful man that I have fallen for that um, <laughs> has gotten carried away. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I've always wanted to say that. All right, so are there any parting words, any last things you want to say to my peeps? Okay, I just want to say thank you for all those that are watching and that are going to be part of this union. And I just want to say to tell everyone to be blessed. <laughs>